Features slash elements of object-oriented programming. Object. Objects are the basic runtime entities in an object-oriented system. Every object is associated with data and functions which define meaningful operations on that object. They may represent a person, a place, a bank account, a table of data. They may also represent user-defined data i.e., object is a self-contained entity that consists of both data and procedures to manipulate data. Class the building block of C++ that leads to object-oriented programming is a class. It is a user-defined data type, which holds its own data members and member functions, which can be accessed and used by creating an instance of that class. A class is like a blueprint for an object. For example, consider the class of cars. There may be many cars with different names and brand, but all of them will share some common properties like all of them will have four wheels, speed limit, mileage range, etc. So here, car is the class and wheels, speed limits, mileage are their properties. Data Abstraction a data abstraction is a simplified view of an object that includes only features one is interested in while hides away the unnecessary details. In programming languages, a data abstraction becomes an abstract data type or a user-defined type. In OOP, it is implemented as a class. Abstraction refers to the act of representing essential features without including the background details or explanation. It provides only essential information to the outside world and hiding their background details. For example, hiding certain details of data about how it is stored, created, and maintained. Encapsulation Encapsulation also enables selective or total information hiding, since it can make portions of the code and data inaccessible from outside the unit. It is a mechanism that associates the code and the data it manipulates into a single unit to and keeps them safe from external interference and misuse. In C++, this is supported by construct called class. An instance of a class is known as an object which represents a real-world entity. Inheritance. Inheritance is a means of specifying hierarchical relationships between types C++ classes can inherit both data and function members from other, parent, classes. Terminology, the child, or derived, class inherits, or is derived from, the parent, or base, class. Different types of inheritance. Single inheritance. Multi-level inheritance. Multiple inheritance, multipath inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, hybrid inheritance. One single inheritance. When a derived class inherits only from one base class, it is known as single inheritance. In single inheritance, a class is allowed to inherit from only one class. I.e. one subclass is inherited by one base class only. Two, multiple inheritance. When a derived class inherits from multiple base classes, it is known as multiple inheritances. Multiple inheritance is a feature of C++ where a class can inherit from more than one class. I.E1 subclass is inherited from more than one base class.
3. Hierarchical inheritance. When more than one derived class is created from a single base class, it is known as hierarchical inheritance. In this type of inheritance, more than one subclass is inherited from a single base class. I.e. more than one derived class is created from a single base class. Four, multilevel inheritance. The transitive nature of inheritance is itself reflected by this form of inheritance. When a class is derived from a class that is a derived class, then it is referred to as multilevel inheritance. In this type of inheritance, a derived class is created from another derived class. Five, hybrid inheritance. When there is a combination of more than one type of inheritance, it is known as hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance is implemented by combining more than one type of inheritance. For example, combining hierarchical inheritance and multiple inheritance. Six multipath inheritance C++ is derivation of a class from other derived classes, which are derived from the same base class is called multipath inheritance. This type of inheritance involves other inheritance like multiple, multilevel, hierarchical, etc. Here class D is derived from class B and C. Polymorphism. Polymorphism is in short, the ability to create a variable, a function, or an object that has more than one form. It is a lot useful since it can group classes and their functions together. Polymorphism means that the same thing can exist in two forms. An operator may exhibit different behavior in different instances, the behavior depends on the data types used in the operation. For example, considering the operator plus 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. 20 plus 4 equals 204. College plus student equals college student.